The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Shout out to them people, 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 people. Dope Ass Panda and I'm going to show you guys how I did my own butterfly braids today and I am using two packs of the Spectra Easy Braid in the color T1B and 27 which is like a black to brown ombre and I'm using cream of nature argon oil edge control to help define my parts and kind of just to give it a little bit of an extra hold so I'm just showing you guys here that I parted my hair I kind of did like a half moon part at the top and I bring it down all the way to my opposite ear and I'm gonna basically be doing two feet and braids on each side of this and I'm gonna coat each side with cream of nature argon oil edge control and this is just to help give it a sleek hold and also to do something with my edges because y'all they are just a mess and they don't have to be perfect when you first start so if you can look at them here like they're not perfect as you braid they're gonna kind of do their own thing anyway so it doesn't have to be super perfect and I did like a really light flat iron on my hair so I wasn't trying to get it like super sleek but just kind of a little more straight so I'm gonna start off by parting out a little section where I'm gonna start my feed and braid and then I'm gonna do this feed and braid just going all the way down around to the opposite side of my ear and y'all I have like 57,000 feed and braid tutorials on my channel so I'm not gonna walk through this step by step but I will make sure I link one of those videos or maybe two in the description section for you guys so y'all can um, get hip on how I'm doing my feed and method <laughs> So y'all, I recently fell in love with this Spectra Easy Braid hair and I have worked with this company before. Um, I did a tutorial for them and this video is not sponsored. This is just like me talking to y'all, you know. And um, number one, like it's $2.99. I was like, <laughs> okay, hello, that's my price right there. And um, you get so much hair. So like I said, I didn't even use two full packs for this style. Like I bought two packs, but I didn't use all of it. But Y'all, you get so much hair, it's so soft, and it dips so well. It's like, why is this shit $2.99? I don't know, but, you know, hopefully they keep that price point because it is bomb. Like, I was just like, oh my god. And it's uh, pre-feathered, pre-layered, so you don't have to really do any type of prepping to it. Like, hello, y'all. If you want a cheap hairstyle, like, for sure go with this hair. It is popping. So the only thing that I'm doing different for this side is that after I apply the edge control, I'm going to go ahead and brush all the hair to the front and that's because I want this braid to be like really at the edge of my scalp and when I was finished like I kind of wish I did it bigger just because y'all like my forehead is like popping like I have a big ass forehead and I kind of wanted the braid to cover more but you know it's still cute it's still cute or whatever and um just if you haven't seen my other butterfly braid tutorial that I did on my little cousin, um, you want to just make sure that you're doing these braids loose because if you want that kind of like messy look, you're going to go back around and kind of loosen up the braid so it doesn't need to be super tight. So if you're somebody who's like, I can't braid like super tight, this style is perfect for you guys because you're going to make it look messy anyway so it doesn't need to be like glued to your head. Now I have seen some people do it where it's more sleek, like that's not the look I'm going for so um, like I said, it's not a perfect braid and that was on purpose. If you want to see a perfect braid, I'll also link my um, two feet in braid tutorial because that one was more of a sleek look where I wanted like all my hair laid down. So I'll for sure to make sure I link that in the description section so you guys can check that one out.
two braids are meeting, so I'm going to go ahead and take that hair tie off. And I'm going to go ahead and combine these two braids together. And because I wanted my final braid just to be super long, I continued to add synthetic hair as I was braiding this hair down. Just kind of whatever pieces I had left. And once again, this part does not need to be super tight either because I'm going to go ahead and make this loose and kind of messy looking once I'm done. two to three inches and this is hair that I'm gonna be curling so I just taken a rubber band and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom of that and then before I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and curl the ends of that and I'll also show you that so here I'm just taking my fingers and I'm loosening up the braid and just kind of giving it more of a messy look and I like mine to look super messy and not uniform at all so this is definitely an optional step like you don't have to do it like this but yes I like to pull mine out a lot then I'm just gonna go in with edge control and y'all my kitchens were so bad so I was like no nope, I gotta tuck that under so I'm just going in with the edge control and kind of cleaning up my edges and just tucking in any hair that I don't want to be shown I kind of try to keep around the edges neat and then the middle part, I really don't care about that. Like, I like that to look messy. So you can see there's some hair sticking up and popping up. Again, that was intentional and it's definitely optional. You can do this style with it looking more sleek. and I'm gonna randomly put this along the braid and this kind of just gives it the final bang I love putting the jewelry on in random places like it just looks so popping and I purchased my hair jewelry off Amazon in bulk just because it's a lot cheaper that way but you can also find it at pretty much any local beauty supply in your area that should carry some type of hair jewelry that you can put on and again like I said I'm just putting this in random places wherever I feel like there's an empty space I kind of try to put some type of jewelry in and for the very last step, you guys can see here that I rolled the ends of my hair in some curlers and I'm going to go ahead and dip that in hot water just to set it. And then once I take that off, the ends of the braid will be super curly. And that's pretty much it, guys. Here's my finished look. Let me know if you guys are feeling this in the description section and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.